In less than two weeks, students and staff will be back in class in the Bishop Helan Catholic Schools. Good evening, everyone. I'm Matt Breen. And I'm Stella Daskalakis. Today, school administrators announced that will happen in person five days a week with face coverings required for all staff and students. To best prepare for the start of the year, they have implemented a number of safety measures, including students who get sick will be isolated and sent home. The schools will change arrivals and dismissals with that happening outside. Many large group gatherings will be held online and visitors and volunteers will not be allowed to enter the building. Parents can only enter in an emergency. KTIV's Michaela Feldman gives us a behind the scenes look at how a school day will look for everyone. This has continued to shift as the summer has gone along, and it still obviously continues to shift today with each piece of news that comes out. The clock is ticking. The halls of Bishop Healing Catholic Schools will soon be filled with students once again, but their day will look a bit different. So the biggest things that they will notice about that have changed in the classroom is our desks will be further apart. We have signs in the hallway asking for COVID distancing. We are asking for more sanitizing, more hand washing from our students. While temperatures should be taken at home, before entering the building, students and staff will be required to wash and sanitize their hands frequently. Also required, masks or face coverings once they enter the building and throughout the day. But they will not be required during lunch, recess and other breaks where students can distance or be outdoors. Even if you're able to socially distance six feet in a classroom, the mask provides another barrier. It's another layer of support. It's another layer of protection. He says while they're staggering students in the hallways at the lower levels, they aren't at the upper grades. Pretty hard to do that because if you dismiss one class early, they can go get all their stuff, but then they can't necessarily get into the next class. So we're just going to have to be really cognizant and enforcing of the mask rule so that when students are in the hall, they're not touching each other. They're not reaching out. They're not pulling their mask down. They're not doing those kinds of things. Younger students will remain together and will not move from class to class. Instead, teachers will move to the students. At the high school level, we are seating students alphabetically so that if students are, as they do move throughout the school day from classroom to classroom, there's a better chance that they will be sitting by the same students. Dr. Flannery says while there are a lot of changes, many staff, parents and children are excited and looking forward to being back. Reporting in Sioux City, Michaela Feldman, KTIV News 4. Dr. Flannery says they are still looking at options when it comes to music and band. He says they've discussed the idea of virtual concerts. When it comes to sanitation and cleaning, Dr. Flannery says it looks different in each building. They will clean more frequently and students will be asked, depending on their age levels, to clean their own space. They're also using electrostatic sprayers. We've learned that younger kids attending the Bishop Healand Catholic Schools will have the option of face shields. That's what Lisa Freilich is doing in her first grade classroom at Holy Cross St. Michael's Center. She has 26 shields to use for her students and herself thanks to Millbank Energy. Freilich says she'll provide the shields, but she understands if some parents may want their child to have a mask instead. Still, she feels the shields are extremely important. And I think with the littles, they definitely need to see the emotions and just see how your face reacts because that, your face tells a lot. And to just have a face shield and to completely see your face is totally important, I think. Freilich says she plans to sanitize those face shields every day. While the first week with the shields may be a challenge, she thinks they will become routine the more the kids use them. The Diocese of Sioux City has also laid out plans for its 23 Northwest Iowa schools to return to learn this fall. It is important to understand the Bishop Helan Catholic Schools are a separate school system with its own administration, school board, and return to learn guidelines. The Diocese of Sioux City schools high, highly recommend face coverings for arrival, dismissal, passing periods, and other times when adequate social distancing is not possible. Physical distancing will be maintained throughout classrooms and school buildings. The schools also advise frequent hand washing during the school day and will conduct enhanced sanitizing protocols for buildings. Superintendent Patty Lansink says each of the schools has a plan for educating on site, for educating online, and a hybrid model, which includes on site instruction and providing online options for those who want or need it for underlying health conditions. Most of those schools in the diocese start the week of August 24th. 